Hello everybody and welcome to my video, the natural number game using lean4. What is lean? Lean is an interactive theorem prover. Basically it's a programming language that lets you type up math proofs and automatically verifies them. It's a really nice way to combine math and computers and I think it's the future of all of mathematics. What is the natural number game? Well, the natural number game is something that was created by Kevin Buzzard and Mohamed Pederamfar, which starts with Piano's axioms and the principle of mathematical induction to prove a whole bunch of cool things about the natural numbers. Um, it's a set of exercises, and we'll be solving those ex exercises together. I'm pretty new to Lean, and so I think these set of videos will be a fun way for us to learn together. Um, and specifically, I'm using Lean 4. As you can see here, lean dot version string. Um, lean four was recently released, and at the time of the recording, the natural number game is a website version or is a is a website where you can do all the puzzles, um, and that's using lean three. So I think this could be a cool way to learn lean four and port some of the exercises over from lean three to lean four. And it, additionally, I'll be doing everything locally using Visual Studio Code and the Lean version I have downloaded on my computer, um, as opposed to the website version of Lean. Uh, for today's video, I'll be defining um, some natural numbers, as well as addition and multiplication. Let's get started. Okay, so we're on version four. That that's great. Um, first off, we're going to need a like, have the natural numbers that we can do inductive stuff on and induction. So we're going to have an indu inductive type, my nat, where we'll have two ways to create a natural number. It'll either be zero, which is a natural number, or it'll be something plus one or a successor. So suck will be a function from my nat to my nat. Um, and zero is our base element and in piano piano mathematics we could just call suck on zero multiple times to get one two so on and so forth so specifically if we um, check what zero is oops, check my nat dot zero that's well that's the type is my nat and this is what it is my nat dot zero and then I can also check my nat dot suck to see that it's a function from my nat from natural numbers to natural numbers, and then my nat suck of my nat dot zero is itself um like this is number one and it's a natural number, and if we try to evaluate my nat dot suck to my nat dot zero. We'll see that nothing's printed. We get a big error message. Well, lean doesn't know how to display the resulting value. So we're also going to add deriving wrapper just to have nice, pr pretty printing. Okay. And then to avoid having to type my nat dot every time, I'm going to open natural and then now I can do just successor of zero to get what that is well it's my nat dot suck of my nat dot zero or one okay and how do we add so now we have our natural num numbers how do we add two natural numbers together well, we're going to define a new function called add, and add is going to take two things. It's going to take m of type my nat and n of type natural number, and return a natural number. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We're going to do this with recursion. So we're going to have our base case of, well, if we get for m plus n, if we get 
M or sure M or N that is zero. Well, we're just gonna return what M was because anything plus zero is just M. And if we get and then right now if we stop here, we can see that helpfully it says okay pattern matching. What what match? what pattern matching does and then we're missing a case the successor function okay so let's add the successor function okay so successor of n or let me do and, and let me just do n prime well what are we going to want to do we're going to want to call add on m and n prime and add one to that so pretty much just saying that if we have m plus zero we're just going to do m if we have m plus not zero we're going to do adding one to m of what successor previously there was beef successor of n prime where n is successor of n prime so n prime is n minus one so we're going to add one to the solution of adding m and n minus one which is what n, n prime is a lot of quick comment um n prime is n minus one um Cool. Now let's verify some stuff with adding. So if we're going to eval, well, let's add the successor of the successor of zero to the successor <laughs> of zero. And then this is going to get us, so this should be two plus one or three total. And then we can see up here we get minus successor of minus successor of minus successor of zero great so this is all cool but i'm more used to working with regular number numbers so if i try to do eval add of i don't know seven and eight well we're gonna have an error and what does the error say fail to synthesize instance of nat my nat seven okay so there are there's already a built-in natural number into lean um, that's what we're calling r is my nat to not collide with the already built in natural number and if we want to use these numbers that are just like the numerals the easiest way I could find is just have a way to convert them to natural numbers to convert regular natural numbers to our natural numbers the ones in lean have a bunch of things already proved for them we want to prove those ourselves so that's why we have our own MyNap type. So to fix this issue down here, we're gonna define a function that takes us from the built-in natural numbers to our natural numbers. So let's do that. Let's define a new function called nat to MyNap, which takes an n as a natural number and returns MyNap. Okay, well, we're going to match n with two cases. So the natural numbers in lean are defined the exact same way as we, we defined. Um, and they have some stuff proven about them and other things. Uh, we don't want to use those, but we do want to use the helpful numerals for for uh, writing, writing different values. So we're going to match our n with, OK, it's either going to be zero or it's going to be a successor of n. So it's going to be uh, either nat dot zero. That's going to be something or nat dot successor of uh, n prime. Okay. So if we're at zero, we should turn to r zero. I'm just going to put my nat dot zero to be extra clear, and this should be my nat dot successor of what? Well n prime is still a natural number we want to return a my natural number do we have a function that goes from 
natural numbers to my natural my natural numbers yes we have the nat to my nat function on n prime or here n prime is just whatever n was minus one and this will eventually get to zero because um, we start with a positive number who keeps subtracting one until we get all the way down to zero and that should work and then here we can see that I can do add nat to my nat of seven nat to my nat of eight and this will work and you can see there's a bunch of successors here I'm guessing there's 15 hopefully there's 15 I'm, I'm not going to count them all um, instead of doing this every time we can have this happen actually automatically if we define an instance using the of nat type class we can specify if it's given a my natural number or sorry, if it's given a regular natural number and how to turn that to my natural number so n is a natural number and then we want to turn it to a my natural number we can convert it and then how do we do that well we have um we need to convert it to a natural um uh, we need to call the function my nat to my nat on n nice and now i believe if i can just delete these and this should work well if we wanted to nice where if we add seven and eight these are both just my natural numbers um the output is still this long thing um which i think is fine we can change that with a different function we can have a function uh my nat to natural natural is displaying nicely um which is the exact opposite of this so if we go from my nat dot zero and my nat dot successor to nat of zero Oops, why? and then I can call this function to actually make sure it's 15 which it is nice um, that takes care of addition for us instead of having all these evals and stuff around I'm instead gonna add a couple of quick examples to just prove these things um just like kind of like a little test to verify these work so specifically i'm going to add an e example that adding seven and eight equals 15 and we're going to prove that with reflection um, nice so this doesn't error because it's right if we had a different number we'd see that well we get an error type mismatch it has it's trying to have add seven eight be on both sides those aren't equal but with 15 it works cool and i'm also going to just clean this up going to delete these evals and checks um nice so we have three functions nat to my nat my nat to nat and add now let's add multiplication multiplying m and which are both my natural numbers and getting back natural number okay we're gonna again do this similar recursive pattern if we have zero we're gonna return zero because anything times zero is zero we're missing cases um, we have successor of zero 
we're going to return just M. And finally, if we have successor of N prime, okay, what do we want to do? So this is like four times three. Well, we're going to turn that into, we're going to use our add function. We're going to do that as four plus four times two. And I'll turn into four plus four plus four times one. We know how to deal with four times one. It's going to be four plus four plus four or 12. Okay, so we're going to call add. What are we going to call add on? Well, we're going to add um, M. What are we adding M? We're going to add M. What are we adding M to? The recursive call of mole M N prime. Okay, let's make sure these work. Mole 4, 3 is equal to 12. And then let's also do some examples with multiplying by 0. Um, 4, 0 is equal to 0. And that's just by reflection and then multiply 0, 4 is equal to 0. Nice. And right, if I had the wrong number, it would be not true. And the way this reflection operator work is it pretty much turns this, like, well, this, whatever this results to, all the way back into a bunch of successor calls, all the way on a final zero, and it has this also be the same thing, and then make sure it's, they're just the exact same. Cool. Well, with that, we have our multiplication function, our addition function. Um, I guess we can add a test with add zero one just to make sure that works as well cool and then we have nice display so this is the bare bones of um like a natural number and we've used it and they work fine they work great um this of nat makes it so that when we write these numbers they turn into um, our <coughs> my nat function. We don't really need this my nat to nat, but whatever, it's useful to have. Uh, and yeah, in the next video, I'll actually start chipping away at some of the tutorial, uh, some of the exercises in the natural number game. This is just a setup that's given to you um, by default from the natural number game, but since we aren't using the website version, we have to set up some of this scaffolding ourselves and introduce our my nat numbers. Uh, thanks so much for watching, uh, and then yeah, check out the links in the description so you can uh, download Lean for yourself or play the website version of the National Number Game. Bye.